Well, I've saved my favorite pie for last. It is a pecan pie, and I'm going to go ahead and cook this today for Thanksgiving. So, uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there today. We're going to go ahead and put these simple ingredients in here, and I'm going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to cook this on the pit barrel cooker. Uh, it's already being heated out back, and I'm just going to go ahead and make the filling. They're going to put it in the pie, cook it for an hour or so, and hopefully the thing turns out pretty darn good. So here is the ingredients we got here. It's pretty simple. We're going to use some, uh, I got three eggs right here. So let's go ahead and just throw these right in this bowl. And right here, I got uh, one cup of light or one half cup of light corn syrup. I'm going to pour that in there. Get that in there real good. And then I've got one half cup of molasses right here. So one half cup of light corn syrup and about a half a cup of some molasses there. And right here we're going to go ahead and put in about a half a cup of some, uh, this is some light brown sugar. Place that in there. And then I've got, uh, just going to use some uh, vanilla here, a little vanilla extract. And we're going to use about one and a half teaspoons. So, got one teaspoon here. And one half right here. Right here, also got some melted butter. And I got about a uh, fourth cup of melted butter. It's not melted very good there. There we go. Kind of hardened back up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and scrape that out. And then let's see, how about some, a uh, little bit of salt here. So we're going to put a half a teaspoon of salt. there and a half a teaspoon of some ground cinnamon that'll be our final ingredient for the uh, filling maybe a little extra that's pretty close about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon there so that's all the ingredients we got in here and we're just going to go ahead and close this down and we want to get all those mixed in real good we'll start out slow Get those eggs all beaded up in there. Crank it up just a little bit. And uh, still have some of this here that didn't come out. Some of this molasses quite a bit. I'm going to make sure we get all that in there. Also had some of this on the bottom of that light corn syrup. Get that all in there. Don't want to leave any too much of that behind. Let's go ahead and crank it up. I think it's getting mixed in pretty good. So while that, we're going to go ahead and let that mix for just a little bit. I've got a uh, frozen already made pie crust here. I'm just using the pre-made one from the supermarket. If you want to make your own, that's fine. It's, uh, I'm not pre-baking it. I'm just going to put this in. I'm going to go ahead and pour. This is about two cups of pecans. I'm just going to pour all those all on here. And I got about a fourth to a half a cup. I wanted to kind of take some and crunch them up as well and throw those, kind of mix those in here. Just mix that up real good. So you got an assortment of some full ones. You got some bite-sized ones. That's going to look nice. You could take a couple of these and chop them in half if you wanted. Kind of just make it look real good. And then that looks good like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, give this about 30 seconds. It uh, should be mixed up good. And we're just going to throw, pour that right in this mixture. Look at that. Looks wonderful, don't it? 
There we go. We're just going to take this and just gently pour it all over these pecans. Mm-hmm. And that's ready. That is ready to go on the cooker. Uh, you could also make a design if you wanted to, or you could cook it just like that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get that put on the cooker. And uh, it should be really, really good. Woo! And I'm just going to go ahead and place this right in here. It's dark outside, the sun sets just after 5 o'clock here in Oklahoma, so at this time of year. You can see that looks beautiful. Got a little hickory uh, chips in there and charcoal. I got these uh, rebars or these rods. I went ahead and put them in there uh, to help reduce the heat a little bit uh, to keep it from getting too hot. And uh, we're just going to cook this a while. So it's been about 30 minutes in now. And look at it. If we can get that smoke. Not be so hazy. There we go. You can see how it is browning real nice around the edges. And I want to protect that from burning because it is already browning. So what I'm going to do is put a little foil around that real quick. So here we go. Got that pumpkin pie looking real good there. It's not pumpkin pie. <laughs> so there it is, the pecan pie cooked in the pit barrel. Uh, looks really, really good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut into this uh, and see how it is. So one more time, there's the pecan pie. Had a little issues with the focus. Let me try this. There we go. Now yeah, that's nice and clear. Yeah. Really, really good. Uh, I, I, I just love a pecan pie. It's one of my favorites. And uh, I'll be making it again, a little different rendition of it. Uh, this particular one, I typically don't use a molasses, uh, but I didn't have any dark uh, corn syrup. So I mixed it with some light corn syrup. Uh, uh, so you could also, instead of doing one half cup of light corn and one half cup of molasses, is just throw a full cup of dark uh, corn syrup or even a full cup of uh, light corn syrup. That'd probably be uh, fine as well. But turned out really well. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this pie series. It's really fun uh, to do. Check out the other three pies I did for the uh, November 2023 pie series. Uh, my name's John. I hope you uh, decide to subscribe if you haven't already. Happy Thanksgiving.